Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, I'll be playing a three-hole uh, game with somebody. Let's give it a go. See what we can find. The purpose of this video is to show you how I play a full three holes from start to finish and uh, if you can find any tips uh, through the game that'll be great for you. I am going to try and give you some tips, help your game, let you understand how I play the game. Connection does seem to be quite slow today. Alright, here we go. My opponent will be teeing off first. Alright, I can I expect this will be a very long drive. We have a tailwind, slight right to uh, left to right, and that goes with the actual slope of the fairway. So I'm expecting a 330, maybe 340 yard drive here. Alright, we'll just add a bit of flight to the ball by adding some backspin. Aim to the left, the ball will drift back to the right. And I'm expecting, like I said, 330, maybe 340. Here we go. Just a little bit early on that ding. And the drive is even bigger than I thought. Three hundred and fifty-nine yards. Likes my profile picture. So that leaves me with what about sixty odd yards to the flag. I wasn't looking. He's come up a tad short. Um, I'm expecting that I will put this next shot very close to the hole. Nine feet uphill, so we'll add three yards, 56. And a 60 yard wedge. Wind is pretty much dead straight. I'll be adding, aiming slightly to the left, just to compensate for the fact that there's a sloping, a slope next to the, next to the pin over there. Can't see it here. And the wind is coming from the left anyway, so we do need to add. It's a tailwind, but it is slightly from the left. All right, so 54, 55, 56. We're going over just over 90 percent here. And unfortunately, it isn't doing the vibration thing. It is close, but it's just a little bit overcooked. I think the wind had a stronger effect than I anticipated. Anyway, it sets, it up, sets us up for a birdie putt. Not guaranteeing I'll make it, but I will obviously be trying. He's putting from the fringe, and that's a good putt. Just a little bit strong. Alright, fast green, right to left putt. This is that slope I was telling you about when I had my approach shot from the left over here, from the screen's left. Uh, we had to compensate for that. And uh, it's a fast green, so let's... Something about me, about this tells me that it's going to break more than I'm anticipating. Mm, not 
not so much. Okay, it's a difficult putt. Alright, so this leaves us with a par attempt, and now it's still coming quite heavily from the left over there. Okay, par. Nothing special about that. Alright, now we have another par 4 with a side wind, 16 to 18 miles an hour. So we'll be aiming to the right, expecting to land this around about 310. He's teeing off first because the previous hole was a tie. He's got 273, leaving him a 116 yard shot to the green, which is pretty decent. Uh, I'll be taking a little bit more risk trying to drive it around the trees. But it shouldn't be too much of a risk because the wind is blowing from the right, so I don't have to actually aim into the trees. However, I do need to consider where I'm aiming because the hole does dog leg to the left. So I'm expecting that the ball will land here somewhere where I'm aiming, where I'm showing you the marker now. But I'll be aiming around about here and then expecting the ball to drift back. So yeah, somewhere between 310 to 320 yards. I missed the ding terribly there. Not very accurate today. Yeah, so my distance was spot on, 317. Landed pretty much exactly where I anticipated it would. Alright, that's the second time my opponent has played an approach shot that has come up short. So he's clearly not measuring his distances properly. Alright, we have 18 feet, that means 6 extra yards uphill. I'll be adding a bit of backspin to get this ball to stop quicker. We have to use an 80 yard wedge. Aim to the left because of the strong wind. And uh, a little bit more because the green is also sloping. So once the ball lands on the green, it's going to then still roll further to the left because of that slope. So we really want to aim quite wide. And we want to hit 76 yards, so 90% is 72. So we're going to go about 95% here, maybe 96%. And it is slightly overcooked, but it's it's good enough. It's... 1% less. I hit 95. Maybe if I hit 94% it would have been fine. would have been very close. That sets me up for a birdie putt. Oh, did I think the wrong club there. Trying to putt out of the fairway. That might be a mistake. In real golf it's maybe easier to putt off the fairway, but in these simulated games it doesn't always work like that in real life. Anyway, he's changed his club to a, to a lob wedge now. Also adjusting for that slope, that's a good shot. Sets him up for a safe par. Alright, he has my opportunity to go one up. Quite a breaking putt over here. Alright, let's try and get this in the hole. And that's in. Alright, birdie time. I've taken a one-shot lead, which means I will be teeing off 
first on the next hole. Hopefully, maybe it's a par five, something where I can have a huge, huge drive. I do enjoy huge drives. All right, it's not. Uh, here we have a short par four, actually. Yeah, 336. Now, I won't be able to get there because of the wind. It's a risk going for it. So, I think it might be best just to lay up, play some sensible golf, lay up, take a three wood full backspin to give it height so I lose a bit of distance but we'll be aiming to the left here to bring the wind to let it the wind do its thing maybe a little bit more all right let's give it a shot I'm very twitchy today hitting that ding very early most of the time Nonetheless, it's a safe shot, 67 yards to the flag. Now the next shot that I play will have some elevation, so we need to factor in the elevation again. Twenty six yards at uh, twenty six feet. So twenty six feet uh, is about eight and a half ish uh, yards up. So about seventy five. Consider the fact that we've got the wind. I'm going to make it seventy seven. Let's make it seventy eight. And seventy eight of eighty yards is ninety three percent. So I'll be using ninety three percent power. Got to aim to the left to compensate for that wind. Maybe a touch more. Alright, 93% is my what I've worked out. So let's do 93. And I didn't factor enough for the wind plus. It's a little bit short. So I should have really added another yard or two. Anyway, we have to deal with what we've been given. I haven't been as accurate today as I usually am. Not sure why. Some days are off, some days are on. Alright, this time he gets closer to the hole. This time in three holes that he that his approach shot actually made it to the green. I'll be putting first. If I if I sink this, I um, I win anyway. And if I don't, then he still needs to sink his birdie putt to force a tie. So let's have a close look at the screen. What it's doing? Definitely breaking from right to left, going slightly uphill. Change the angle again. It's not breaking too much, so I anticipate that I'm confident this will go in. Yep, it's in. Easy putt. And a win. Alright, that's a three-hole match. He didn't get to play his shot, so that score of 11 is actually inaccurate because he would have at least putted his 12th shot. Alright, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. It'll help me greatly. Thank you. Bye-bye.